What's going on, brothers? It's the Lime Tech, you know the name? Got a video for you. It's written title, Selfish. Here goes. So, we've all heard from these trollops, these feminists, these good for nothing gold digging leeches, that whenever they're ready to settle down and stop riding the cut carousel, and the men that they desire give them the cold shoulder, they call them selfish. Mm hmm. They call those men selfish, but they themselves are a monument of selfishness. And they're encouraged to be selfish by the machinery of the state, the feminists, and all of the crooked branches of humanity in high places. It is what it is. And let's be real. Well, most of these trollops say that men are selfish. A lot of them are just projecting. But for these weather-beaten trollops, these train wrecks, these feckless single mothers who can't snag a pit wallet, they'll throw this shit in your face and say that you're selfish. And a lot of that is rooted in fear. Same goes for the big, the same goes for the busybodies who try to pry into your private life, in the workplace, in the gym, or when you're just enjoying your own company. It usually starts with, "So, are you married?" You say no. And then they dig a little bit further. They say, are you planning to get married? You say, no, I'm, happy, I'm happily single. And then they'll get triggered, offended, and ask, what's wrong with marriage? And then you throw it in their fucking face and tell them that because of no-fault divorce, because of brief votes law, marriage is a funeral with cake. Now... When you tell them this, they're going to get even more upset and accuse you of being selfish when they know that what you're saying is the truth. But their natural response to that is you're selfish. Some say it like this. The reason why a lot of men in this day and age, a lot of brothers who up their soul, a lot of men who have eyes and ears to hear are selfish is because They're putting their self-preservation first. And the ones who are selfless were knifed in the back. They were burned for it. That's right. Especially the ones who were in their blue pill stage. They felt that pussy was the end-all be-all and sure enough they got burned. And they said, you know what, this isn't worth it. Maybe this shit doesn't work. So they start being selfish. They start preserving themselves. And naturally, their opposition, the feminists, the trollops, call them selfish. So, let me put you this way. When these trollops try to spit in your face and say that you're selfish, you spit right back at them and tell them that there's no one more selfish than these Western females. They've been encouraged to be selfish for over half a century. Thanks to feminism, thanks to the machinery of the state, thanks to the cricket branch of humanity in high places, especially the ones who encourage them to shed innocent blood through abortions. Mm-hmm. Hell, even these Instagram thoughts and these feminists on social media who come up with these female dating strategies where they encourage women to get married just to get a divorce so they can collect the loot. And a good example of this can be found on the Young Men's Daily Red Pills channel. He actually covered this in, in one of his most recent videos when he was talking about how there's an Instagram page where there are females teaching and encouraging other women to get married, get divorced, and click alimony. 
You see, they're shameless. They're, they're being encouraged for other women to lie, cheat, and steal. But they don't call it being selfish. That's not called being selfish. Offering up your kindred, your family, and your children as a blood sacrifice to the state, that's not selfish. Dividing your household and then turning your face back to men and say that you're strong, independent, don't need no man, that's not selfish. It's not selfish to try to worm your way into spaces that weren't built for you and then try to destroy them by saying this person's mansplaining or manspreading. That's not selfish. Get the fuck out of here. That is selfish. And Western civilization, for the most part, is crumbling because they've prioritized trollops over men. The men who are the lifeblood of civilization, the men who keep things running, they threw them in the bushes. They don't give a solid shit about them. And because they don't give a solid shit about those men, those men have decided to be selfish. They've taken their wallets, walked away from the fucking table, and now they're gone. But you're selfish because you don't want to be, you don't want to marry or wife up some bad boys throwaway garbage. You're selfish because you don't want to bring your ass back to the plantation and marry one of these single mothers who was a CC rider, then farted out six kids, and now she's living in a Section 8 pigsty, and now she needs help. Fuck all that. Let me tell you something. If they say that you're selfish, they continue to be selfish. Put your self-preservation first. That's what you do, brothers. Better yourself for yourself. These trolls, these feminists, these Klingon bitches, and these ham beasts are not worth defending. They make that clear every fucking day on social media. I mean, think about it. If they're encouraging women to get married just to get a divorce and click the loot, if they're so shameless in their harlotry that they have to go to Ashley Madison to cheat behind their husband's back, you really think they're worth defending? You really, you really think they're worth settling down with? They're not. Take your gifts, your blessings, your skills, your money, and enjoy your life without Trump interference. I'm doing that right now. Oh, and for the uh, gene pool polluters and the rambunctious pieces of fat shit who will say, hey, yo, you're an incel, so let me tell you something, motherfucker. I'm far from being an incel. I've tasted exotic fruit. Not once, but three times. Oh, yes. I've tasted it. And I enjoyed it. But the thing is, I didn't put it on a pedestal. I still got my good sense. I still have my bread. I still have my wherewithal. And I understood that sex is a lower brain function. It's a part of life. It's not the end all be all. But a lot of you bitch made simps, a lot of you gene pool polluters, a lot of you male hyenas didn't figure that out yet. Well, you learn from experience. It is what it is. Mm hmm. It's Lana McTowell. And that's all I got for you, Savio Brothers. If you like the video, like, share, like the commentary, feel free to subscribe. If you enjoy my channel, you can find a tip jar on the upper right hand side of the screen. That's the G Plus icon. All right, fam. All right, brethren. You know drill. You know routine. Go on with living with SYSBM. That's for these gene pool polluters. These ham beasts, these rambunctious Jezebels, and these feckless sperm toilets who destroy their life, bleed you dry, but then turn around and say that you're selfish because you want to put it with their shit, give them nothing. This is me, Top PSA. Motor Cumbers tight. See you soon.